What's going on guys, Sam Adams here and welcome back to another episode of Decaf, the show that I do every single Wednesday where I talk about the back end of content creation, the behind the scenes so to speak, and I kind of give you guys some insights, some tips, some tricks, whatever I might have on my mind, we shared right here on Decaf. And as I say every time, I'm not a professional. I'm nothing more than a college kid who, you know, has saved some money, he's able to buy a couple of things here and there, and I really enjoy making videos, content, podcasts, streams, whatever you want to call it. I love doing this for you guys and with you guys, and that's pretty much, you know, where I'm coming from. I don't do this for a living or anything like that. It's just one of those things where I love doing it, and so I thought I would share the tips and tricks that I picked up along the way. Though specifically today we're going to be talking about individuality. We're going to be talking about what you need to bring to the table to set your something Though today we're going to be talking about individuality, and you might be saying, Sam, what do you mean we're talking about individuality? Is this a soul-searching podcast now? Is this something where you're digging deep down into yourself uh, to find some kind of new insight? No, we're not We're not getting that deep. Uh, though what I am trying to say is that individuality is what makes you a successful content creator, especially in 2018. Over the course of the past 10 years or so, of course, uh, we have services like YouTube taking off. We have services like Twitch. Uh, We have a whole bunch of streaming platforms like Mixer, even content creation platforms on social media platforms uh, like video on Twitter, like watch over there on Facebook, whatever it may be. Uh, There are so many different platforms on which to distribute content and different ways and methods to do it. Uh, You know, you can record stuff directly through your phone. You can record stuff through podcast stuff like I've got, you know, nice cameras and whatnot. Uh, Just a webcam on a laptop, whatever it may be, there are many, many ways to go about actually making something and distributing it online and and getting a following. And so with that advent of technology, more and more people have been flooding into the industry to make whatever they want to make. They have been trying to shoot their shot and put their voice out there and be heard. And the majority of people are being heard, whether by a small audience like I have myself or a large audience like somebody like Ninja on Twitch, like somebody on television like CNN. Everybody is shooting their shot and out there actually getting some traction with it, if I do say so from my perspective. Uh, Though, uh, it makes it more difficult for everybody to have a voice when everybody has a voice. It makes it more difficult uh, to be able to isolate a specific person talking instead of looking at the bulk of the people that are out there. So how do you make your voice stand out? What separates you from the thousands upon thousands of other people that are out there, you know, just just, uh, talking into their mics, doing videos with their phones, whatever they may be? What makes you unique? And it is your individuality. It is your persona. It is your personality personality. This is what separates you from average Joe that's streaming over there on Twitch. And it's that element, whatever that may be, whatever elements those may be, even if you have multiple aspects that bring a unique concept into your content, whatever that is, that is what makes people choose your stream. That is what makes people choose your YouTube channel uh, as compared to those that already have millions of subs. There is something unique about you. That you need to that you need to dig down deep inside yourself and pull out and put into the content that you make, uh, whether it be you know a, a unique way of entertaining someone, whether it be a unique way of speaking, whether it be some kind of unique presentation. If you have a specific editing style, uh, like Casey Neistat, whenever you see a Casey Neistat vlog, you know it's Casey Neistat, and that's what's why that, that's why he's so popular. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he has a unique identity. And so you need to be able to find your identity before you start making content. Uh, that's one thing that I've noticed that, uh, that a lot of people start doing uh, whenever they are thinking about streaming, whenever they're thinking about doing YouTube. They look to other people. They look to who is already popular. They, they go out there and they research or whatever, and they start watching videos, and they emulate what other people are doing. They copy what other people are doing, and they try and make content that is like that. And I would say that's an element of success. I would say that that's something that you really do have to do because that's how you find out what kind of creator you are. You go find inspiration from those that have come before you and you combine elements that you find into your own unique taste, your own unique flavor, and you then turn that around and you make your own content and there is your own flavor. Um... For instance, in my own life, you know, I've talked about this on many podcasts and videos before, but growing up, I I watched a lot of G4 TV. I watched a lot of tech TV uh, where they would talk about things like E3. They would break down conference news. They would talk about the newest and hottest games coming out. DV Doosday on Attack of the Show uh, where they were talking about movies and stuff. I learned how to be a host via these shows. I learned how to how to speak, how to present, how to do all of these things. I learned it via these early TV shows. And then as time went on and we got access to better Internet and I started checking 
checking out YouTube and I started checking out Twitch and stuff along those lines, uh, that's whenever I started really branching out and finding things. I like Boogie2988 where he's just really a, a truthfully unique and truthfully, um, you know, uh, I don't want to say truthfully truthful, but he's true to himself. You know, he's just a really down-to-earth dude, and he seems to be very transparent on camera. And so I brought that element, and I combined it with what I saw at G4. Uh, then whenever I started watching Kind of Funny, whenever Greg Miller and Colin Moriarty and a couple of other guys branched off from IGN and they made their own company, I started watching their podcast and I saw their camaraderie. I saw the humor they brought to the table. I saw what appeared to be something that was kind of, kind of you know, uh, off the cuff kind of humor. I saw that and I brought that into what I did. And then I'm seeing things like the Pro Bro Podcast, uh, Professor Broman over there on Twitter and Twitch. He does all of these, um, all these podcasts where he gives tips and tricks and he talks about the back end of stuff and he's very transparent parent as to what's going on with the various kind of streaming platforms, the various kinds of, of content creation tools that are out there. He talks about that stuff. And so all of these elements have been have been forming and shifting and shaping my content over the course of the past, you know, six or seven years. It's all been coming together to make me into the person that I am today. So the man sitting before you in black and white with a with a tie on, on on a Wednesday morning, you know, this is not something that I've just come up with. This is not a persona that I have just put on. Uh, I am true to myself. I know who I am. I know that the, the person that is being presented here to you, this is who I am in real life. This is me being true to myself. But I also know uh, that I've taken cues from other people. I've taken cues from other creators. I've taken little tips and tricks and tidbits and aspects of their their content. And I've made my own kind of thing. And I've, I've balled it up like a ball of tinfoil. And I'm throwing it back at you in the form of videos, in the form of podcasts, in the form of live shows, in the form of live streams with video games. There are so many different ways uh, to distribute your content that when you find your own flavor, then it's just kind of free range. You know, you, you do your own thing. You, you go out there and you create stuff and you begin to have a following. You begin to have people that appreciate the content that you bring to the table. And that's where I find myself today. So, um, you know, it's been a long road, but I would not be where I am right now if I had not been true to myself, if I had not been a unique individual, if I had not brought my own elements in and thrown them in and then put them into my content. It's that individuality that sets you apart from the hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of other people that are out there streaming, making videos, making podcasts, putting tweets out. You've got to find your own flavor. That is a major key. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of DKF. If you did and you're watching on YouTube, drop me a like down below. If you're over there on Anchor.fm, please favorite the podcast and also drop it some applause if you really did enjoy it. But of course, DKF is every single Wednesday. At some point during the day, you can check it out right here on Anchor and YouTube as well. Uh, but of course, links for everything else are in the description box down below. I hope you guys have a good one. I will talk to you soon. Peace.